All right, so it's uh, NHL draft day, and uh, as a part of that, their upper deck did a draft day moments uh, promotion. So I went to two different stores to get a pack each. Um, you have to kind of make a minimum purchase, or any pretty much any purchase. So I ended up getting some Series 1 retail at one store and Series 2 at Hobby at the other store. Um, I also picked up a retail pack of 1617 Series 1 uh, for about for $15. And the results of my group break um, that I was expecting uh, sometime this week came in today. So yeah, let's uh, let's op let's get the group break out of the way before we do the draft day stuff. Um, it turns out uh, I drew like two, the two best teams, and I actually watched the watched the recording of the group break. Oh, nice! Look, what a job that they did in packing up these cards. Um, I mean, you got got a clear plastic, got a clear plastic case, bubble uh, bubble mailer. That is that's that's pretty solid. So I ended up getting drawing like the two best teams. Um, for 2020-2021, so that'd be New York and, uh, New York and Minnesota. Um, so, I, so I didn't get any of the, I, I mean, I got a few, few good hits, like nothing, like nothing big, like a PMG or any sort of like ultra, uh, ultra rare, ultra rare card or anything like that, but it looks like I got a, Got a pretty good, pretty good show, pretty good show, pretty good showing. Um, I actually, yeah, New York and Minnesota. I mean, lucky me, but you still have to draw, draw the cards, right? So, okay, looks like some series one filler of Taves and McKinnon. So yeah, I got. Like, uh, I think most of the hits I got were for the Rangers. So I got. Uh, Igor Shosturkin, um, Mike Mika Zabinijad, so Matt Dumba, I think was the, the uh, Artemi Panarin, Matt Zuccarello base. So then here's kind of where the uh, hits come. In, I guess the non-base come in. So I got um, Eric Stahl, Minnesota Wild, and I got a lot of. I, I think most of the the rest of the hits were for were Rangers. So I got uh, the Lafreniere Metal Universe. Um, see if there's anything special on the back here. So yeah, the the backs of the Metal Universe are very very different than the uh, than the regular I guess base cards and stuff. Um, so got a rookie of Keandre Miller. I think I, I heard I got one more Metal Universe somewhere. So I also got a Lafreniere um, regular rookie. I uh, got a Chris Kreider All Star and another Lafreniere uh, rookie and a uh, Keandre Miller. So I mean, the the, uh, the takeaway from this is that uh, you know you can draw the best teams, but you still have to draw the cards, right? So um, in this case, I only got one hit, one not, one hit for the Minnesota Wild. So that's just how it goes sometimes. Um, so I'll get into well. I mean, this pack's already open. The series one pack's already opened. Um, end up getting uh, this electromagnetic of Connor Garland. It's just the regular. The standard issue, um, the there is a there is a gold variation where this part's where this back part here is in gold, and the, it's supposed to be gold on the bottom here. It was kind of hard to see at the beginning on the, when I I did when I actually got I did get a gold Ilya Sorokin, but when that when I I, I kind of missed that it was a gold variation. Um, 
because there's really, I, I guess I didn't, couldn't, uh, it's hard for me to tell the difference. So for the draft day moments cards, so as you can see here, you got two, you got Yupi with being in, with the, uh, with the uh, draft being in Montreal, we got Dano Chara and Jonathan Taves. So um, I think the, I'm not sure how they do round one, round two, round three, and all that. Um, yeah, I, I figured round one, round two, round three had something to do with like the like kind of the numbering and stuff, but you can see it's like not related at all. So. Um, I guess it's actually when they were actually drafted. So there you go one more time. Nice to get a ma nice to get the mascot the mascot card. Um, open up the other one. Here we got a another Daniel Chara. Got. Caden Primo, uh, goal, goalie, yes. Um, uh, got Alex Ovechkin, um, first overall in 2004, and got uh, Brendan Gallagher picked up in the fifth round. All right, so the next thing next up is this one hobby pack of, uh, 2021 series one basically I got the hobby pack for last last year just because just of a better chance of a ho hobby exclusive in 2020 21 so let's see what we get here we got a oh, another Brendan Gallagher looks like we got a young gun of of a defenseman Oli Ulevi. Okay, so I think I already have that one. It's okay. That's totally okay. And just a bunch of other base. Last up, we got our 1617. Um, picked this up off of private sale for 15 bucks. I think it's I mean, that's worth it. Worth it for me. So the last the last 1617 pack that I got, I got a I did get a Young Guns, but it was not. The big one, uh, I got uh, Anthony Beauvillier of the New York Islanders. So let's see what we got here. Mm. Mm. Well, hopefully, hopefully I'm not going to get a base pack. I haven't got, I've haven't gotten a base pack yet, and I got unlucky. It's a base pack. Um, yeah, that's how it goes sometimes. Uh, don't regret it. I mean, $15 isn't, isn't out, too outlandish of a price for that. So, um, just to re quickly recap, there's our draft day moments here. Got our, got our big mascot. Um, whole bunch of, whole bunch of Metal Universe wait a minute wait we got a hold on we got eric stall all-star got a lafreniere uh metal universe um i think just a whole bunch of other uh rookies and all-stars got two lafreniere two lafreniere rookies oh i just realized that well electromagnetic connor garland just realized that this is a French. This is a French variation of Ole Ulevi. I, that's really cool. Um, it's a nice consolation prize, I guess. All right, uh, that's it for Draft Day 2022. Uh, I'm gonna post. So I'm gonna be posting up my next uh, rant. My next uh, bot. My next. Uh, I guess mystery box tomorrow and uh yeah we'll uh see you next time